Hey Crypto Kids, this is Crypto Dad, here to help you and your families gain some crypto wealth. However, this is not financial advice, and I'm not your financial advisor. Any investment in crypto is risky. I'm simply showing you what I'm investing in and can potentially make you some money too if you were to join me in my journey. Alright guys, so today we're going to give some updates about Chrysos. There's not much to talk about because nothing's been officially said or whatnot. Um, however, before I get into Chrysos, I'll let you guys know, as I stated in the last video, if you guys are interested in a coin that is coming up that is on the coin market cap currently since 2014, it's going to be doing very well very soon. Sometime this week, I'll be releasing a video about it and which one, if you guys would like to take advantage, should probably invest in. If you guys want to find out about it, you're going to need to subscribe because as soon as I post that, you never know, it might take off. All right, so you haven't done so already, subscribe. So when I post that video, if you want to get involved with it, you can. All right, guys, so the update with Chrysos is going to be, let's put up the little picture here. So Chrysos had, um, it, you, we all know that Chrysos has been really bad with communication lately and their social medias, they're not really communicating at all. However, this came up here, their Facebook, apparently there's a new Chrysos Facebook page has been created and they posted two posts here. So one says here, it was 38 minutes and then this one was two hours. This is about a couple days ago old. So, um, We'll deal with that for a little bit. But anyways, it says we apologize for the lack of communication and delay in launching our full product. We have had a, a team change. Our old social profiles are locked to the previous team. So we make this new one. An announcement will release shortly. Thank you for your support. So that basically says it there. Guys, again, whether this is true or not, whether it's a person trolling or scamming, we don't know. All we can go by is Chrysos not communicated. All of a sudden they are communicating. So we're going to take this with a grain of salt, but understand that they're potentially trying to reach out. And it seems like they've had some kind of a team change, whether it be the dev team, marketing team, support team. We don't know exactly. We don't get much detail, but something has changed. And since they didn't have access to the other profiles, they weren't able to update. So they've created some new ones to try to communicate with us. Then they posted saying, new team has no access to Zendesk support tickets. Please do not email the Chrysos address as we cannot respond. We are doing our best to answer all the Facebook messages. Thank you. So if you guys want, you can find them on Facebook. Search Chrysos and there should be a new link on Facebook. All right. Then there's one more that I want to talk to you guys about. This is the very important part and this is the reason why I made this video and why you see the thumbnail. Let's go back up here. It says, unfortunately, our devs are still working on this and I don't have an ETA for right now. So someone must ask the question about when they're gonna launch or something. So followed by this, we will be announcing a rewards program in the next few days. We will be buying back a certain amount of Chrysos from members who participated in the ICO. Make sure you have some Chrysos in your wallet. If you have all your Chrysos in loans, we cannot release your loan, but you can buy Chrysos, it's supposed to be purchased, at $14 from the internal exchange. And they talk about what, which comes from another member of the community. We do not receive any funds. They're explaining the internal exchange there. It says, and then exchange that for $42. Limit for exchange is 100 Chrysos. <clears throat> so summed up, what they're talking about here is they're claiming they're apparently gonna, I guess, try to bring back the morale and such of the community. And what they want to do is they, since they can't, they've been delayed with everything going on, they're not gonna be able to open the external exchange if you guys already noticed on time. The internal exchange is not really working properly. They have it locked in. They've been having a lot of issues. They still haven't fixed them. So while we wait for all that, they're understanding all the turmoil. So what they're going to do is they're going to actually buy back this is them themselves uh, up to 100 Chrysos per person at a $42 limit, which that guys is $4,200. So at a $14 rate right now, it's $1,400. 
So let's go back to my page. Now, as you guys know from before, I've stated most people are doing this as well. We're collecting our USDT and not reinvesting or not withdrawing just yet because we all have a feeling that the price may just drop a little bit. And if you convert this over to coins right now, you'll have a $14 rate. If the price drops, you won't have this total. You will have a lot less. So we're leaving this here in USDT. However, now with that new notice that gives came out, there's a couple things. Let's say, for example, I don't convert this right now and I wait for the notice to come up because we're not sure if this is valid, if it's not. So some people don't want to take the risk. Well, I say, OK, so if I just wait for them to bring the notice out, let's say, for example, they finally come out and say, all right, guys, we're ready. We're going to go ahead and be able to buy back 100 coins. If you guys have them, exchange them here. Maybe they'll have a new tab or such. But I feel we don't know how they're going to do this. I feel if they do that, this number right here says Creasos per US dollar. I think in order for them to do that, they're going to have to change this to $42. So if you guys haven't seen what's going on, if this goes to $42, that means when you withdraw, when you withdraw 100 coins, you're going to withdraw $4,200 out of your USD. In my opinion, I rather take the risk right now and I would personally rather withdraw at a $14 rate, which would be $1,400 so that when it goes to $42 per coin, which is times three, I'm not dipping too much into the USDT. Personally, this is what I'm doing, I'm not saying that I recommend or telling you guys what to do. However, this is my opinion my slight risk that i'm taking i'm gonna go ahead and withdraw this now again with you guys here so you know as i always tell you guys i try to keep you guys up to date i don't keep you out in limbo i try to show you what i'm doing so you guys know if there's any changes you can see it firsthand and that i'm personally doing it myself not just saying it so stand by we're gonna do this now All right, there you guys have it. Balance 100.2. So I got my 100 coins and I only dipped in, see for example for the lending, let's go over there. I only dipped in $1,400 so that I don't touch too much the USDT. Hopefully it was a good decision. So there we go, not too much. Hopefully it was a good decision. I don't know, it's a flip of a coin. I took the chance. Again, it's up to you guys whether you wanna do that or not. I'm doing it because I feel I'd rather do that than dip into $4,200. So again, it's on you guys. Well, honestly, this is really all I have for you guys. So there's nothing else. All my links are in the description. Join the Crypto Kids Telegram. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Hit that bell. We're at 634 subs, guys. 634. Thanks for all your support. We're getting there to 700. Hopefully, this maybe video can maybe get me to 650. All right, guys. Well, Crypto Kids, it's time for me to go back to baby duty. Bye.